What's up, everybody? This is Jack from Crypto49er, bringing you my knowledge in cryptocurrency. Today, I want to talk about turning $100 to $1 million, part two. So today, I'm taking a break from talking about the Gecko Trading Bot and bringing up a topic that I've talked about in the past. Actually, it was a couple months ago now. So I made this video back on February 21st, talking about how you can turn $100 to $1 million back in 2017 if you invested in Verge because literally Verge went up 13,000% last year and a $100 investment would have returned you $1.3 million. So at that point in that video, I was talking about like some really bottom rung cryptocurrencies that I was thinking maybe they'll explode and have a chance to do what Verge coin did last year. So let's just go over quickly on how these coins are. Again, as in all my videos about cryptocurrencies, this is not financial advice, people. Definitely do your own research before you invest in any of these coins. So anyway, I have to say, the picks that I made, I didn't. I wouldn't really say picks, I was just saying guesses, wild guesses from February didn't turn out all that well. So because Strong Hands was one of those that I, I, I was thinking might, might actually blow up. And what, what happened? It did nothing. I think it went down. I think like most cryptocurrency went down a lot. And this one thing is like if you see a coin that you, that is being shown as exponential in coin market cap, you know it's not doing well. <laughs> so yeah, this that let's just say it didn't do very well. Sprouts was another one that I talked about. Again, another one that was in uh that's exponentials in its price, not doing very well at all. Experience point. This one actually, I remember it was almost the top hundred coin, maybe top one hundred and fifty coin earlier, probably around February, around when when I made the video, and this one dropped a lot. So it was at seven satoshis back in February twenty first, and currently it is now at two satoshis. I personally didn't invest in any of these coins. I was just throwing them out because I wasn't really doing my research at that point in time. I was just thinking, what coin can possibly hit a million dollars? And it doesn't turn out these were these other ones like Colossus did better. So from February on, it was February was strong, but I think it's like now February was so like most cryptos, it was falling in February on, and then but then it had a strong, pretty strong rebound from early April to now. So it's not too bad. So let's say if you invested in early April, that's when everything was dipping a lot. It was at like what nine satoshis, and now it's at thirty two. So this would have been a good coin to invest. See, this is one of those coins where it comes down to timing, obviously, but if you bought it at 9 or 8 Satoshis and you sold it right now, you don't have to sell the whole thing. The whole point is to sell a fraction of it. Let's say you sell about a fourth of it in this case. You would still got your, because it, it four times its value, right? So you would have gotten your investment back and you could then let that rest of it ride and see how much higher it can go. And then with the 25% that you sold, you can invest in something else. And let's see, Telcoin was another one that I talked about. Let's see how it did. So it's another one that was flat. So it just it did nothing from February on. So that's one of those where you know you're just kind of stuck and you invest in that. And then Linda, Linda was Linda did something. So it's just like it popped actually back in March, which is kind of weird because I think a lot of coins were falling at that point in time. So. It went from the lows of around 10 Satoshis back in March 8th and it popped at like 33. So another, this one of those coins that went perfect. So perfect uh, situation where at 3x is value, you could have just gotten out. I mean, not gotten out completely, pulled one third of it out, got your inve original investment back. And then at this point, then it fell back down to 17, but at least you were holding it, see what it does. But you already got your original investment back and you could have invested in something else. That's the general idea that I want to talk about. So I haven't been paying attention to all the other coins I talked about in the last video until today. But today I want to talk about some of these other coins that I'm, a little bit, I'm playing a little bit more safe this time, not going as crazy as last time, picking coins from like the one from the very, very bottom rung. This time I'm talking about coins that are more within the line of the top 100 because I'm sure as most of you guys do that watch the charts on a regular basis, you see some coins pop and they explode. Like they will have like 20% gains in a day, 30% gains in a day, 40% gains in a day. So those coins, I believe, have the chance to really become what Verge did in 2017. The first one I'll talk about is Hollow because this is a Hollow chain. Hollow chain is relatively new, actually, at least on the coin market cap. They only show them up recently because 
the market cap was only calculated as recently as May 7th. So before that, they were trading, but they were not, you know, you do not see them in coin market caps top 100. Now it's currently trading at number 91, and it's currently at 17 Satoshis. So, but if you were, if you bought it early on, and you bought it at like 9 Satoshi or even like 6 Satoshis, so you would gotten about 3x already at this point. You got now one third of it and let the rest ride. Zillica is another one. So Zillica is one of those that's been around for quite a bit. So um, I think at least early this year. So it was trading pretty high at first. So like at 11.88 Satoshis. And it felt quite, it felt a lot. It fell down all the way down to 373 Satoshis. And then it popped up. From here, 373 Satoshis, all the way back up to 1798 Satoshis, 6 six in value. So this is a would have been a pretty good investment. And it still is, I think. You know, it's only 17 cents. That's the other thing about it. Because one of the reasons why I was looking at coins that were so bottom rung in my last video was because they were worth so little. They, like Linda, for example, is worth a tenth of a penny right now. So these are the coins that people still want to invest in because they really want to get in at the bottom, bottom floor. That's why I think Zillica is still good, but even though it's 17 cents, you know, I feel like this is one of those where it went up a lot, but it's kind of, to me, it's like it's like Ripple last year, where there's a chance for it to go up, but Ripple didn't go up until like almost towards the very end, and all of a sudden it exploded all the way up to like $3. So I remember people were like saying, oh, it's never going to go up, because it was at 15 cents, it didn't move. <laughs> so, but it finally did. And Zilliqa, it's at least it's not like Ripple, that it had to be moving. So I think this one has really high potential. Next one is PunDX. So PunDX is um you can see it today it went up forty percent. So it is one of those coins where if you bought it early on, so let's say that you know you bought around when it first got listed on Coin Market Cap, eleven Satoshi's, and right now it is at eighty two Satoshi's. So it's basically seven. 8 times, almost 8 times that, let's say 7 times its value right now. I still think there's more room to grow just because, again, the price is so cheap. So, Dentacoin is the next one. I have talked shit about Dentacoin in the past. I wasn't a believer in Dentacoin because, I mean, seriously, you know, how can you have a blockchain and storing medical records and stuff? I didn't really buy into it. But it's not about buying in, you know, it's about how much you can make from it. So, this is one of those coins that popped a lot the last few months. So it was at 4 Satoshis, and then went up to 12. Right, so see how much it went up? So it went up 3x in, it went up 3x its value in Bitcoin, but it's one of those where anything that's 3x in value, you know, 3x in its price, I think there's a good chance of it going up and down. That's what I'm really looking for in this particular video is to talk about coins that can really move the more very volatile coins where they're up or down obviously up better than down but you want coins like these that have a good chance of moving so that they will have a good chance of picking up 100 percent 200 percent 300 percent in like a couple of weeks to a couple of months at most you don't want it to hold on for too long otherwise it's just gonna be bags you're holding so the last one is ios token so ios token it's one of those where like I just think it's because it has the name iOS in there. That's why it has done so well because there are so many other coins that are re related to Internet of Things and um, they haven't done half as well. So I know like, you know, back in January it spiked really hard and you know, people that bought it and sold at that point in time, if they bought it before and sold it at around the peak, good for you. So for people that didn't come in, you know, they were born at the peak, I know that they're kind of, kind of suffering right now, but what can you do? With something like this, where you bought it in like late March, I mean, actually, you know, in early March, around like 200, 200 Satoshis around there. And then right now it is at 763. So again, one of those at 3x as well. It's so about in the matter of two months. Just want to show you guys how you can actually see the performance of each of these coins. So the best way to do it is go to like cryptocurrency chart. Uh, and it will actually show you all of them. Unfortunately, for PunDX, it doesn't seem to work properly because it, sees, it shows you that it has lost 99% of its value. Basically, the coin went dead, but obviously it's not the case. If you go back to PunDX in here, it went up a lot during that time frame. I'm just going to take PunDX off the list here. And then I have Bitcoin in here just for reference for you guys to see what happened. Bitcoin, if you bought it from way back in January 1st, January 11, 2018, you would be losing 32% of its value right now 
compared to all the other stuff. I mean, I have other stuff not in here, like Denticoin didn't list it because, again, Denticoin only did well recently. So it's one of those where if you bought it at January, February, you would still be losing or haven't gained much. But other coins like One Chain is uh, an ontology. Ontology actually did the best. So that's one of these other coins that they're peaking right now. Can it peak higher? Potentially. So, but I don't really think ontology can just because at least not 3x is value. I mean, who knows? Anything's possible. But right now, I think it's like eight, nine dollars. So for it to go from nine to twenty-seven sounds a little hard. I don't know. I mean, anything is possible in crypto. So considering something like Ethereum move from like three hundred to seven hundred in like a month, it's definitely possible for any of these coins to move that kind of range. So, but just shows you overall a lot of these coins have at least a hundred percent or close to hundred percent its value. And you'll be able to sell a portion of it and be able to reinvest it into something else. So the bottom line is this. One thing I'm doing is taking a page out of Ian Bellina's playbook. So not the one about securing your cryptos, but the one about selling a portion of cryptos. And what he does is, if a coin is 3x in value, I'll sell one third of it and invest it in another crypto. If it 3x again, I'll sell another one third and let the rest ride. So I'll have more chances of hitting the jackpot coin this way. So that's not so much my idea, but that's the plan that I will be following. So let me know what you guys think about coins that you think will hit a million dollar potentially. I mean, at this point, no one knows. It's a possibility still. I can't say no until, let's say, end of this, no, let's say like December 25th. Like around the last week of December, if no coin comes close to what Verge did last year, then I would say no. It's impossible for a, any crypto to do as well as Verge did last year. But before that, we still have more than six months left in 2018. So no one truly knows if there's a coin out there that can perform as well as the Verge. Bitcoin is still under 10,000 right now, so that means that we're not quite in the bull market yet. So people are still thinking there's a chance that it could go all right back down and fall even farther. I mean, like if you follow someone like Tom Bays, he thinks that there's a 24% chance that it will go back down to $3,000. So I don't really know. I'm just investing very small amounts so that I know I'm not risking all everything at once. So anyway, guys, that's my video for today. Let me know what you guys think. Leave a comment down below. Upvote, re-steam, and follow me if you're new to my channel. If it isn't crypto, it isn't worth mining, it isn't worth speculating. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Peace out.